In the 90s, there was a popular string of films in the subgenre of domestic thriller. Julia Roberts cut her teeth on one called Sleeping with the Enemy, which I'm going to talk about at some point. But first, I want to introduce you to this masterwork of cinema titled The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. That's right. We're talking about a psycho bitch nanny who tries to take over an entire family, essentially plotting to replace the mother. It begins with Q, who is pretending to be a doctor here on Earth for some reason. He's a massive creeper, though, and likes to feel up his patients. He's investigated and ultimately suicides before facing any consequences. It turns out that the mother of this particular household was the primary whistleblower in this case. And just when you think all is just, they put a call out for a nanny. But then weird shit starts happening, and no one in the family seems to put together that all this weird shit started happening after the nanny arrived. Except for Winston Zettermore. That's right. Winston is in the movie. I got the tape measure. But Rebecca DeNanny isn't having any Ghostbusters up in here, so she frames him for some creeper behavior and gets him out of the picture. Now it's time to kill the mom, and she tries over and over again. As a kid who grew up with really severe asthma and I was always running out of rescue inhalers, this scene terrified me the most. Even though I found her wheezing to be really unrealistic, it was the concept that was horrifying. It turns out that the nanny who has targeted them was trying to get the mother out of the situation so she can raise the woman's kids on her own, thus having the family she was supposed to have with her oft-doctor husband and getting revenge on the whistleblower mommy. That's right, she was Q's wife. Where's Captain Picard when you need him, eh? Are you a retard? No. Uh, 